My brows are a little extra bold today, huh? It's all right. In the great words of Hannah Montana, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. It is what it is. <laughs> What's up? It's Christina with a K. You don't forget it that way. And today is Monday, which usually means that it's Music and Makeup Mondays, but if you saw my last Monday video, you saw that I had some problems with copyrights. I thought that it would be considered fair use. I'm pretty sure it falls under fair use, um, but it was really annoying. It was honestly like a little scary because I obviously just started my channel, so I was like, am I gonna get it like you know, a strike or get it removed or whatever when I literally just started my channel, like that's so annoying. But anyways, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do with Music and Makeup Mondays because I love to talk about music, I love to put people onto music, as you know, but I don't know, it's really tricky and it's not as enjoyable of an experience if you can't hear the music. Like yeah, pat on the shoulder, I think I'm pretty cool, but like, I don't know if talking about an album for 30 minutes is gonna be that fun when you can't even really hear it, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with that. In the meantime, I think I guess on Mondays I'm just gonna post whatever I feel like. But that brings me to today. Today is not Music and Making Monday. I'm sorry if you're looking forward to it. My deepest apologies. But today I have something very exciting, at least for me. I just subscribed to BoxyCharm at the randomest time. <laughs> so I just got my BoxyCharm box. In the mail, I don't know if they usually send it in the beginning of the month or the end of the month, but I just got it, so I'm gonna review it. This is the January Foxy Charm. I've talked about it before, I love Kathleen Lights. She's one of my favorite beauty YouTubers that I actually watch. She loves Boxy Charm. she does it every month, and she has been for a really long time. And I wanted to get Boxy Charm for a while, or just a subscription box in general, I've never had one, but I never got around to it, so I finally did. So yeah, that's why I only have my brows on. I peeked inside, I didn't open anything, I just looked to see like what I had and what I didn't have, so I know what I can and can't use, or you know have a product for so yeah i have my brows on already uh if you want to know how i do them I'll put it right here today is not the best brow day um but you know it is what it is but yeah as far as what i got in my box i got one two three four five items they also give you a card in the boxy charm box um with all the stuff that you get so this is the avant skincare biphase hyaluronic acid rejuvenating micellar water an oil phase aiming to instantly dissolve resilient and waterproof makeup and a micellar water phase working to capture impurities it dissolves makeup without rubbing or rinsing and this is 90 dollars apparently there's like little particles in here that you shake around and it becomes cloudy cool so i guess i'll use this to take off my makeup later and i will write what I think about it. <laughs> I will smell it. It kind of smells good in like a clean way, but also it smells a little sweet. Faintly reminiscent of like a cinnamon roll. Mmm. Cinnamon roll? What? I gotta get one. <laughs> All right, so the next thing is this. This is Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. Cool. Yeah, so I knew that I had a moisturizer in here so I didn't prep my face. I don't know how well this is going to work under makeup. Like if it's gonna mess with, ooh, this is cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, let me see what it says. This retails for $38. An oil-free and silicone-free daily moisturizer that delivers high-weight, lasting hydration without leaving skin feeling greasy. This vegan, cruelty-free formula contains hyaluronic acid and a blend of phytonutrients known to help clear pores and reduce shine. Cool. So I feel like this is probably going to be good for people who have oily skin. I don't. I have dry skin, but it has hyaluronic acid. So, I mean, hyaluronic acid... I feel like everybody's on that hyaluronic acid wave right now because they know it's selling, but... Ooh, this is thick. Can you see that? Mm, it smells herbal. Mmm, this feels nice. But it smells very familiar. I can't put my finger on what it smells like. It smells like lemon heads. Like the candy, the sour candy. Yeah, it smells like lemon heads. Mmm, but it also smells like herbally. I think it has, I don't know. I have no idea, but this feels amazing. Ooh, I like that. Totally wiped off some of my eyebrows, so I'm gonna have to put that back on. Oops, but I really like how that feels. 
All right, I'm gonna see how that dries down. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, cool. I'm always in the market for new moisturizers. I love, I love trying different skincare, which is probably why I break out all the time because not all skincare is good for your skin. And also just like your skin reacts differently, but cool, I like that. So the next thing is this Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm which is great because my lips are dry right now. Cute packaging, let me read what it says. Essential oils with sweet orange and coconut give this lip balm its citrusy tropical aroma and silky smooth consistency. Sweet orange is packed with vitamin C, which is known to keep even skin tone and protect against free radicals. Coconut is a natural emollient that moisturizes for soft, supple lips. This retails for $33. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Oh, it has like a little. That ain't no thing though, because Blistix has the same thing. <laughs> Ooh, but this shit is thick. Mm. This also has a very familiar scent. I don't know, but I like that. It feels really nice on the lips. Smells good. Tastes good. <laughs> cool. And I think this is like vegan. It says bee friendly, nice. But it does contain nut oil. So if anyone has nut allergies, beware. I mean, I would assume so. Is coconut considered a nut like that? Like, I don't know. Hmm, that's interesting. I never really thought about it like that. But it's in the name. Anyways, <laughs> so the next product I have is this Viseart Seamless Eye Primer. It says it works with all eyeshadows to ensure crease-free and vibrant wear and is $24. As you guys know, or if you don't know, now you know, I don't really use eyeshadow primers. I have some. I have an Anastasia one. I have the e.l.f. putty ones. I just don't really use eyeshadow primers, but we also got an eyeshadow palette. This is the Violet Voss Ala... <laughs> all of you forever cool this is 34 dollars says it was designed with universally flattering i can't even open this olives and hues that complement one another flawlessly it is packed with the most luxe formulas and creamy mattes mesmerizing metallics and impactful foils i cannot open this fucking packaging <laughs> this is what the palette looks like it looks cute. I honestly haven't really heard about Violet Voss in a long time. I feel like people aren't really checking for them anymore. I'm gonna swatch some, even though I don't really like to rely on swatches. Okay, so I swatched some mattes and some shimmers for you. These are some of the mattes. They are all right. These are some of the shimmers. They're also all right. I feel like the shimmers are a little on the drier side and the mattes are a little on the powdery side. I just dropped it, oh my God. And that's everything in the box, so let's use these. All right, so I'm gonna put on the primer and I'm gonna do a quick little, oh, it's like a clear, looks like glue type of primer. I don't really like to use primers like this. If I'm gonna use an eyeshadow primer, I'd rather use one that has um, pigment to it just to, uh, you know, cancel out my eyelids, just make it a clear blank canvas. It feels very um, silicone-y on the lid. I'm gonna let that sit and dry. Okay, so I don't know if I let that sit long enough. It's starting to set down and it's not getting like tacky, but it's not like, you know, it's not as slippery as it felt. It feels a little more like skin again, but I'm gonna go ahead and start playing with this. I think I'm gonna do a pretty boring eye look today. It's kind of late. I don't really feel like doing an elaborate ass look right now, but I'm gonna take this color Wink. I feel like I just tapped all the pigment off. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna... Ooh, it is getting a little tacky because my brush is like a little resistant to move. I probably should have put like a color that blends into my skin tone first just to kind of set, but it's all right. I can't really even tell if that's showing up. Maybe I should take a little like softer of a brush. I think I'm seeing a little bit, but it's very faint. And I'm pressing a decent amount in there. Yeah, this is a very faint color. Uh, all right, so I guess I'll just sweep it all over the lid and that can act as the shade that sets my primer. I guess next I'll take this shade Wishful right above it. I'm just gonna take the same brush and, you know, put that on the outer corner or whatever. I didn't even tap it off because I feel like these are so powdery that by the time you bring the brush to your lid, you're not gonna have any pigment. So I'm not even tapping off the brush. And even then I'm still like, it's very faint. It's not, it's not anything super crazy. So 
feel like if this were a different company a different palette like even the elf palettes if i were to have done that like dipped in it like that and just tapped off a little bit i would have a mess to blend out right now so i guess these are pretty like user friendly in the way that like it's kind of hard to mess up but it's also um, not super practical because you have to spend so much time building up the color. But it is what it is. I mean, I kind of am not really that surprised by that if this is a subscription box. I feel like most people that are well versed in makeup usually know what products they like and what products they want to go and get. Someone just DM'd me. <laughs> I'm gonna take this shade Infatuated and I'm gonna pop that. Again, in the outer crease. I like this shade. The shade is definitely uh, more pigmented than the other ones. This was the shade Infatuated. Definitely was able to smoke it out fast. Cute. I'm also using a little bit of a denser brush, so that definitely helps. But I'm gonna go back in with the first brush that I used and the first color that I used, Wink. And I'm just gonna throw that up there make sure everything is nice and soft could help on this side I don't know why there's like a little patch right here that doesn't have any color because I definitely put the primer and I set all over my lid too which is weird interesting but whatever so now I'm gonna take the shade charm I'm just gonna concentrate right here onto the lash line a little bit just to kind of set as a foundation for the liner I'm gonna put. They didn't give me a liner, so I'm just gonna grab this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This is in the shade Demolition, and I'm just gonna hit the outer corner really quickly and then take a brush. This is an angled brush, and just smudge it out. And then I'm just gonna go back in with Charmed and pop that on top just to further blend and kind of make it a little more of a plummy color. All right, cool. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for the eyes. Uh, in terms of matte shades, I'm gonna put a little bit of like an inner corner on, but I just want to clean up my eyes a little bit. And an easy trick is just to take whatever primer or moisturizer, if you don't really prime, whatever you use on your skin uh, to kind of prep it for makeup, you can just kind of use that to clean up your eyeshadow because if you were to take like a makeup wipe or um makeup remover micellar water whatever um you'd be taking away the skin prep that you did so instead of doing all that and having to reapply uh you can just take a tiny little bit like a little dollop and just clean it up you know for the inner corner i'm just gonna take this shade right here this is called major spotlight and i'm just gonna boop pop that in the inner corner cute little reflective goldy white really simple really basic but it still catches the light so i'm just gonna pop on some mascara and some falsies really quickly do my face and uh yeah so i'll come back and we can finish up the eyes really quickly and i will tell you my thoughts i guess cool <laughs> all right so i'm back my hair is pretty much dry my face is pretty much done I'm just gonna take these two colors from the palette. I'm just gonna mix them together, honestly. And just hit the lower lash line. It's a pretty simple look. <laughs> Nothing crazy. I kinda like to accentuate a little bit. I like to accentuate my eye bags. So taking a little bit of what is this? Infatuated. Just to add a little extra depth on the outer bit. And boom. That's pretty much it, man. I think I am actually going to take, ooh, my nose is itchy, a little bit of Major Spotlight, which was the inner corner highlight, and just re-emphasize that. And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna take a little mascara, pop that on the lower lashes. Cool. Um, everything else that I use on my face will be in the description box. If you want to know what I'm wearing on my lips, you should have watched my Friday video, but I'll tell you. I'll put it in the description box, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for BoxyCharm. This is the first box I've ever gotten. I'm pretty pleased with everything I tried so far. I think the shadows were okay. They weren't super pigmented, but they also, you know, aren't bad quality. I think I was able to get a pretty decent, simple look. I didn't play with, like, the fun 
metallic colors in it but i will continue to play with it and i'll let you know what i think but so far i think this is cute pretty basic pretty cute i didn't try out this hyaluronic acid micellar water as you can see it separates so let's like shake it together i'll try this when i take off my makeup and like i said i will give you my notes this coconut and sweet orange lip balm was really comfortable really cute i will say that it left my lips so hydrated that it was kind of hard to get like a straight lip line so super hydrating maybe not the best or you just have to like really really pat it off before you put a lip product on this moisturizer so i have to continue using this i really liked how it felt on i think it looks decent with the makeup i think my skin has looked better under makeup obviously i mean i should have primed i should not have used this as a primer but i just wanted to see how it would look on its own i think it's cute yeah i don't know i just i'm gonna have to continue trying it this is the first time i've used it and i think it's definitely more geared towards oily skin so i will let you know but this is cute smells good feels nice we shall see what else did i get one two three four mm. eyeshadow primer um i mean the shadows look decent i'm not mad at it i don't really like i said prime my lids so but um yeah that's pretty much it for my box it was cute i like it i will let you know how next month goes um and if i continue to like it i'll continue to i guess review it um let me know if you like this type of video i've never had a subscription box um but i figured i'd try it are you guys gonna try one do you want to try boxy charm did i convince you let me know i don't know um and if you guys do have boxy charm did you guys get this in your box is it the same for everybody i don't know i literally don't know i don't know yeah, um, as always, if you fuck with the vibe, kindly subscribe, you already know the deal with that. Uh, I post videos every Monday and Friday, usually, sometimes shit happens. Um, how do you feel about this look? I feel like it's a little cute Valentine's Day look, no? Like a simple, muted, it's cute, I'm not mad at it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's the longest outro ever. Um, like this video, comment down below what you think about this look about subscription boxes do you like them have you tried one before i don't know uh share this with your friends and family and yeah uh i will see you when i see you did i just do finger guns <laughs>